Welcome back to Mad Medicine. In this lecture, we're going to be discussing the concept of cellular injury. Now, this is a very basic topic that you need to know, that you need to have a good understanding for uh, when it comes to just the basics of medicine. So with that being said, let's go ahead and discuss cellular injury by just doing a quick recap of the cellular adaptation mechanisms. As you probably know, our cells are constantly under a lot of stress because of the environment that they are in. For example, your stomach lining, it's constantly being eroded because of the hydrochloric acid that is in your stomach. Well, when it comes to our organs, that's not really the case. They're in a state of homeostasis, but they can change if they're put under a lot of stress. And the type of stress that they are put under as well as the severity of the stress is going to determine how they're going to adapt. And essentially, an increase in stress will lead to an increase in the growth of an organ. They're pretty straightforward. So increase stress equals increase in growth. Okay, so when it comes to growth adaptations, you have mainly two types of growth adaptations that you need to remember. Number one, you have hypertrophy. Number two, you have hyperplasia, both of which we have discussed in a previous lecture that you should check out. But when it comes to organs, we earlier said that they're under a state of homeostasis. Well, the way they are able to maintain homeostasis is via atrophy. Atrophy will reverse all of these mechanisms right here. Now, organs can also change uh, the type of cell they have by undergoing metaplasia. And if you continuously have uncontrolled metaplasia due to an increase in stress, your body or your organ can go through a condition called dysplasia, and that can even result in cancer. Okay, very important concept. Now, when it comes to cellular injury, however, you need to know that the cells are able to handle a certain amount of stress. They have a threshold of the amount of stress that they can handle. When you exceed the cell's ability to handle the stress, when the stress becomes too much, you are going to have cellular injury. And that's what we wrote right here. Cellular injury occurs when the stress level is greater than the cell's ability to adapt to said stress. There are many different types and many different ranges of injury that can happen, and it all depends on the type of cell, the type of stress, as well as the severity of the stress. This is very important because certain cells, for example, neurons, are gonna be more susceptible to stress, aka a hypoxic environment, whereas you have other cells, like your muscle cells, that are not as resilient. The same can be said for your cardiac tissue. Your cardiac tissue is not that resilient. It's not able to handle stress under a, a long period of time. So they end up dying. But when it comes to your muscle cells and cells that are able to regenerate, especially those that are able to handle stress, they're able to, uh, un they're able to withstand a longer threshold. They have a higher threshold for stress. Let's just say it that way. Now, there are many causes of cellular injury, and most of these you should be aware of and you should understand. We're going to be discussing all of these upcoming topics in all of these uh, causes in upcoming topic lectures, so stay tuned. But we're going to give you an overview right now. When it comes to cellular injury, you can have uh, hypoxia be a cause as well as inflammation. Inflammation is actually extremely damaging to the local environment where the inflammation is happening. Cells are dying, they're being killed off by your own own cells as well as whatever is happening if it's caused by an infection or if it's caused by bacteria or virus etc etc inflammation causes a lot of cellular injury and damage to occur malnourishment this is often something that people forget malnourishment will also lead to cellular injury as well as genetic mutations. If there's something wrong with the genome specifically at that level, at the genomic level, you're gonna have cellular injury occurring because you might not actually be able to create a cell in the right way. And the structure of the cell might be hindered. Therefore, you might have a injury occurring there. And then also obviously trauma. Trauma is probably one of the most uh, understated causes when you're thinking right because you're always thinking in terms of what could be happening to the cell around the cell etc etc we always forget what extrinsic factor could be affecting the cell and trauma is very important so if you have a stab wound to the arm or to the leg or to the chest and it goes to the heart obviously you're going to have a lot of a lot of cellular injury occurring in that situation so this is just a brief overview of cellular injury 
I hope you found this video educational and helpful. If you did, consider subscribing to our channel because your support really means a lot to us. If you like this content and you want to see more content like this, go to our website at www.madmedicine.org where you can find more educational content for your exam prep free of charge. Thank you.